Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and the major muscles of the human body. The muscles in your body work with your bones to help you move in a large variety of ways. There are over 600 muscles in your body. In this video, I will cover many of the major muscles of your body. The pectoralis major is a thick fan-shaped muscle situated at the chest of the body. The bicep is a large muscle that lies on the front of the upper arm between the shoulder and the elbow. Its main function is to flex and twist the forearm. The abdominal muscles support the trunk and allow the movement and hold the organs in place. The sartorius muscle is the longest muscle in the human body. It's a long, thin muscle that runs down the length of the thigh. This muscle helps you cross your legs. The abductor muscle group is located on the lateral side of the thigh and moves the thigh away from the body's midline. The trapezius muscle resembles a trapezoid or a diamond-shaped quadrilateral. It helps support the weight of the arm and move the shoulder. The deltoid forms the rounded contoured shape of the human shoulder. It's a prime mover of the arm. The latissimus dorsi is the largest muscle in the upper body. It's responsible for the extension, abduction, and rotation of the shoulder. This muscle helps you do pull-ups at the gym. The serratus anterior is a muscle that originates on the surface of the first to the eighth ribs at the side of the chest. It acts to pull the scapula forward and around the thorax. The external oblique functions to pull the chest downward and compress the abdominal cavity. It also helps you perform side bending and rotating movements. The brachial radialis is a muscle of the forearm that flexes the forearm at the elbow, for example when you use a hammer. Finger extensions include nine extensor muscles found on the posterior side of the forearm and extend the hand and the fingers. Finger flexors help you close your hand. Quadriceps is a large muscle group that includes four muscles on the front of the thigh. These muscles are the great extensor muscles of the knee. A hamstring is one of three thigh muscles in between the hip and the knee. The hamstrings cross and act upon two joints, the hip and the knee. The gastrocnemius forms half the calf muscle. Its function is flexing the foot at the ankle joint and flexing the leg at the knee joint. The tibialis anterior is responsible for flexing the foot backward and inverting the foot. The soleus is a powerful muscle at the back of the lower leg, aka the calf, and it runs from just below the knee to the heel. It's involved in standing and walking. The infraspinatus muscle is a thick triangular muscle and it's one of the four muscles of the rotator cuff. Its function is to rotate the humerus and stabilize the shoulder. The teres major helps rotate the humerus and assist the latissimus dorsi in drawing the previous raised humerus downwards and backwards. The tricep is a large muscle on the back of the upper arm and is responsible for straightening the arm. The gluteus medius is a muscle that helps with hip movement. When you walk and run, it aids in stabilizing the pelvis, in particular when you perform activities where you're balancing on a single leg. And the gluteus maximus is the main extensor muscle of the hip. You see the gluteus maximus at work when you stand up from a chair, run, or go up steps. So there we go, some of the major muscles of the human body. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.